Welcome to Tales from the Lab, or Tales from the Laboratory, apparently a changed fan game on itch.io. Uh, I'll read the email a little bit of what was sent to me, and uh, I'll have to leave it up also for a few other things I have to bring up. Uh, as I got, the developer said they are a big fan of the channel. Uh, there's a game they've been working on since around February called Transfer Infection Tales of the Lab. A changed fan game they made alongside their friends. Um, and they say it's been their dream to see me play the game, that they and they finally got the courage to ask. The game isn't long, but then they say the game isn't long, but it would take you one to two hours to beat. Eh, for an indie game, especially if it's only taken you since February, which is... Wait, August is the eighth month. Eh, five, six months? One to two hours is pretty decent, in my opinion, but the game has a unique combat system, never seen before in any changed games, diagonal movement, and keyboard button configuration. Um, otherwise, I don't know, I'll try it, but I will play one part because one thing, it's it's a, it's on a browser, and I'm not sure if I do save the game, since it's browser-based. It depends on if it erases cookies like uh, Five Nights at Kyle's does. So it depends on if saving in this saves a file on my computer, so even if I shut down my computer, can I replay the game and, you know, reload the save? Or would it be better off if this game was downloadable, so then it, you have a physical save file or whatever on your computer? I'd rather not play the game, play halfway through it, and then find out that the game's save file is lost because my browser was closed or my computer restarted sort of thing. So I'll leave it on part one, and we'll see how the game is, how people like it, whether or not I'll make a part two or to beat it or not. So, I hope you all enjoy, I'll give it a try, and hopefully it makes the developers happy as well. We'll try it out. I'm not sure what to expect, but uh, we'll, we'll just we'll just go with what we have now. Before you start, please insert your name, your real name. Uh, well, I guess we'll just go with me. No, that's 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 not an N. N E C O. Not Nico the Zero. That'd be that'd be really long. Just Nico. It's your first day of the job at Furco Labs. You are a trainee scientist that. Trainee, it sounded like I said tranny. Trainee scientist that works in the research department. Before you begin, please select your desired look. This is what you will appear as for the rest of the game. Also, if you're non binary, you don't have to worry about gender specific pronouns. No matter who you play as, the player is always referred to as they, them. Eh, this part is all about looks. Eh, I guess I'll play this. This guy looks close enough to me, honestly, just with a lab coat. But I have blue eyes and they have green. Whatever. Close enough. Cartoony cars. Going to work. It is me, Nico. I am a scientist. What's this way? Sup? Guard one. What are you? What are you doing, Doctor? Heading to the building. The CEO is waiting for me. I'm a doctor. My pay grade is higher than you. I could leave if I bloody well want. But look at that, diagonal movement. I've never seen a game with diagonal movement. Or it's just very rare in a RPG Maker game, I guess? You must be the new intern person. Lucky for you, the CEO of the company is waiting, or is visiting today. Go in and meet her. Oh my. They better be a cutie. Ah, hello there, new intern. I am Alyssa Smith, the CEO of Furco Laboratories. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, you're wondering what's behind me? Yeah, they, they kind of look like, uh, you know, latex monsters. Those are, yeah, la latex monsters. We're gonna sell those goo things to the military. So you're like the Iron Stark of Changed, I guess. We're so happy you chose to join us, my newest employee. Oh, that's right. If you're going to be working with us, I should show you your new room. Come with me, would ya? Such informal social skills. Would ya? Eh, I don't mind, though. I don't like formalities. I really don't. I prefer nice, blunt... I don't know. 
I'm not sure what I would say. Just, I prefer down to earth and no beating around the bush kind of stuff. Where am I going? Ah, you're up here. Here's your room, head inside. As you may have guessed, you can interact with objects by pressing Z. Head into the room and try interacting with all the furniture. I got furniture! Bench! This bench has cushions on the seat. Wow. The blue carpet feels nice on our feet. Even though I presume we're wearing shoes and I don't know how we'd feel it, but... I do love rugs. A quaint little table. It has a very homey feel. Oh my. There are your sleeping quarters, and it seems that there's a note on the bed. The note reads, curfew is 12. I mean, if it's 24 hour clock, then that's just afternoon. I'm gonna presume they mean 12 midnight. If you're past then, you might be charged with suspicious... You're saying I, I, I live and sleep at work? Hmm. Curfew is midnight. You will remember this. Okay, it is midnight. And toilet! The toilet is sparkly clean. It seems as if it's never been used. Beautiful. It will be stained with the warmth of my, only my buttocks. No one else's. Oh, that's right. I'm so stupid. I wanted to show you what we do here. Let's go to the testing room on the rightmost side of the lobby. Follow me. Is this the part you're going to show me, latex monsters? Oh, look at them. Roaming in the fake forest, fake grassy plains, clueless as to... I mean, I don't know if they'd be clueless per se. I don't know. They seem stupid, they're just sort of... oblivious? Roaming without a care in the world? Eh, whatever. And then they'll be sold the military, and then... No one will want to fuck with America, they'll be like, Haha, you fuck with us, we'll transfer you, turn you into a furry. It'll be even worse than go being sent to Brazil. I heard that vital serums can recover health. However, they are very sparse around the lab. Oh, I see. You can do something called saving by talking on the radio. Oh. That's how I save, is it? You need... no. Bench! I can stand on top of the bench. Let's test... let the test commence! Alright, subject, please interact with the white goo. Test subject. <laughs> what will happen to me? Subject, please interact with white goo or we will exterminate you! It's like SCP contain... it's like SCP a little bit. I, I'm gonna hope these are just prisoners who are, you know... And they instantly got transferred. It worked! You see, in turn, the subject will have raw, overwhelming strength and... It just... Busted through the glass! Open fire! Oh dear, I have to leave now. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Everyone's dead. What are they? Do? Well, how are they bleeding? The, the, the transferred furry just like fucking punch a hole in their stomach, like Mortal Kombat style. Even the even the guards with the like body armor and I mean, yellow vest. I don't know if it's body armor. Maybe it's just yellow vest. But they got helmets and they're bleeding from like a, con 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 a concussion. He's dead. He's dead. They're all dead. It got really dark really fast. Now it's like legitimately. Okay. The radio is on, but it seems nobody's on the other end. Oh, so I can't use that to save? Okay. Oh. Hello, hello. Is anyone on the other end? Please, someone respond. Hello, it is I, Nico. You responded to the radio. Ah, someone on the other end. Who is this? Please say something. What is your name? Didn't I say I was Nico already? I'm doing it again. Confusing. Nico, oh, oh shit, it's the intern. You're still alive, thank god. Listen, Nico, you need to get to the fourth floor of this building. Be careful, those creatures are dangerous. You already know that the creatures are broken out and they're everywhere? They've broken out across the entire lab. Oh, so it's coordinated? Uh, transferring people left and right, you have to get to the fourth floor. 
Good luck. Take this radio with you. Interact with the take. Okay, dokey. Good. You trust me. All right. I'll help you out here, Nico. Mungo, can I save? I just want to save. Oh God. Can I? I want to get transferred. I want to see what happens. Hello? No? You're not interested? You can't fight these things with your bare fist. Find a weapon. Yeah. No, they, they protect me from, uh... Oh, I could step in the puddles. Dun, dun, dun. No, but back is turned to the camera. Look towards the camera. Uh-oh. Game over. Press. Press end. Oh no. No! Oh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Fuck. Well, that's my bad for not saving it before doing something as dangerous as stepping in m milk pudding, but I'll redo it and skip ahead. I found it just funny enough though, like the CEO's just like, oh no, things are going bad. Well, time to leave. This is my cue to run away. But, I don't know, when, once we pick up the radio, I'll see if I can save it, maybe by... Also, I'm wondering then... Actually, not wondering. I'm gonna assume then, when they said, what's your name, and they said real name, they really meant for me to type, like, my full real-life name sort of thing. That's not gonna happen. I'm just Nico Nico. And uh, my me just saying that now, people are gonna be, like, saying Nico Nico, you know. I, I just know it. Uh, blah blah blah, fourth floor. Alright. Take the radio. I'd rather save, yes. Okay. Items, radio. Save. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got it. Uh, now the question is... Wait. There we go. Where am I? Okay, I almost stepped in it. We... Let's see if there's a weapon up here or not. Just really definitely don't step in any of the milk puddings. I'm not sure of the building layout though, so I'm not sure... What the hell is that? We'll save it here. Why not? I can't get past this goo. I need a weapon. Maybe there's a weapon... Oh, my room. Okay. Sure. You guys are my way. No! Ah, damn it. Well, at least we'll be able to see it now. And we just turn into one of them, really. Thankfully, we made a save, though. I'll have to go, just go to my room now. Alright, so... Make my way downtown, walking fast. Also, I should... I probably should save now. Going by those was a little bit of a pain. So supposedly, from what they've advertised, is there's an interesting combat system. They broke free. You've seen what happened to the test subject. It seems going back the way you came isn't an option. What? Well, why can't I just go in my car and drive away? I don't know why. Eh, we gotta go to our room. Whatever. See what kind of weapon we can get. Ooh, well, I'm not sure what weapon they're talking about. In my toilet. Why would there be a weapon in here? There's a pipe right next to the toilet. I can use this to fight the monsters off. Take pipe. Uh, fighting enemies is pretty simple. When you walk into an enemy, your character will swing their weapon automatically, knocking them and the enemy back. Hit them enough times and they'll die. However, if an enemy walks into you, you'll take damage. Make sure to check your health every now and then by pressing X. Oh. Oh, I see. You remember being a kid and hiding under the covers from the monsters in the dark. You want to hide under this carpet and wait for this to be over. But you need to escape. That monster will find you eventually if you just linger around. No matter how cute this table looks, your fear of being killed by the latex monster is stronger. Oh wait, uh oh. This is gonna get me killed by doing that. Ah, I took an actual rest, okay. Save. We'll see how, I guess, beating the monsters in real time is like. Let's find out. Alright, let's try it. Where are you? There you are. Hmm. 
Hmm. Did it hit him in the back or something? Like. Hmm. I'll just try, I guess, running into them many times. I killed it, though. Also, I have no idea... Oh. I might have to turn up my brightness, actually. It's hard to see everywhere. Let's see. There we go. I just have to walk into them before they do to me. Okay. Gotcha. Nice. I'm not sure if killing them really... Oh, and also, I will turn up my brightness. Uh, da, da, no, not that brightness. Wait. <laughs> Actually, I will have to. I want to be able to see, to be honest. It's a little dark. That's really bright. Gotta avoid the milk puddings. Items, radio, save here, just in case there's any hidden milk puddings over here. Nope. Let's go. We will kill all of them. Come on. You are not fluffy and cute like Pearl. Ah. Okay. Dang. Wait. I can't go back? Toilet. Hmm. Well, we missed out on genociding everything. Oh, jeez, that's a lot. Oh, what's wrong, Nico? Oh, that's what's wrong. Yeah, there's no way you're gonna get across without instant death. A convenient jump pad would be helpful right now. Hold on, I'm going to make a hologram bridge. They seem very, uh, interested in me. It's a lot. Hmm. Um, I still want to know if I can go back. Because I didn't check everywhere, but... No. Looks like I can't. Eh, whatever. Okay, the hologram bridge should be... Oh, you used a conveniently placed jump pad. Yes, I did. No matter, just keep going. Health flask. What if I do try to attack them? Uh, eh, whatever. We'll keep moving. Oh, wait. Increases... Wait, team. Uh, it'll be like an RPG where I have multiple people on my team? Uh, the texture on the wall says one. Did I reach the second floor? Huh. I have no idea where I am, though, right now. Uh, what? Oh, I can go this way. Oh. Ah, the lights! Finally! This will make things more- Hell yeah! It's just so dark for the longest time. Vital serum. I might be able to turn down my brightness now. Excellent. Booyah. Alright. Now won't f my, my monitor won't- uh, Let's save it. You're a big boy. Giant wolf towers. Is it just mess missing its body completely? Nico, run? Okay. You are so screwed. Can I have at least a little help? Uh, what if I knew what the hell was about to happen? What? Is it turning into DDR or d d avoid? Oh, okay. Eh, 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 eh. I don't know if I can attack these or if they're instant death. I'm just going to play the avoiding game. I, I... Mm. Do I whack them or do I avoid them? Maybe attack the base but don't get touched by the paws? Hmm... hmm. Can't attack him yet. Attack him. Oh. Not ah, ah, shit! Ow! God damn it. God damn it. I just had to bump into that. My bad. We'll destroy this thingy-bajig. Miss a boss. 
Now at least I know I have to uh, attack its paws. And it's not instant death. Alright, bring it. Meh. What's my health at? I can't look at my health. That's not good. Hmm? Yep. Yeah. Oh, you! That was a mistake. God damn it. It pushes me back, and I was lined up with the pudding. Damn it. I can't... Though in the fight, I can't see what my health is at, so I can't take any uh, health flasks if I take too much damage. And I can't check to see in my menu. So I just have to basically not get hit ten times during the fight, I guess. Dang. Cry like a bitch. That's right. Oh my god, I did it. Amazing work. That turned out honestly better than I thought it would. I couldn't have done it without your help. What, what did he do? You, okay. All right, we'll make up to the... Why would I compliment me like it? Uh, thank you, Radio Man. What did a Radio Man do? He said I was screwed. Ah, my health is also... Yeah, well... Uh... Common to find. I mean, if it's common, sure. Hmm. There's a lot of them, and they're... Just... Dancing there. Like, seriously. They could completely destroy me. As you enter the room, you feel safe and calm. Your health... God damn it! I just used a serum. Uh, whatever. Hopefully they are common. Then we'll keep going up and maybe find a place that feels comfortable to save. Floor two. Or maybe technically three. Chapter two. Whoa, what happened to this place? Those damn latex broke the water supply. I can just walk... Don't... This is one of the, those abyss rooms. Hold on, I'll light up the path for you. Why does this place have abyss rooms? Where they dispose of garbage? What? Huh. Sure. I'll just... Sure. I'm kind of... I'm curious, fuck it. You sank into the water like a rock. Why? I drowned to death. No transfers. I mean, maybe a missed opportunity where it's like... Something in the water, like a shark, like in change, doesn't grab you, maybe? So far, all we've seen in this is... All we've seen is basic white latex. Is there gonna be something more? Mm -hmm. Just make your way. Some tile should be lit up. Ah! Wait. Hmm. Alright, well, I messed up, apparently. I thought the upper path would be a little thicker. I will memorize it now. What was my main what was my mistake? Ah. Uh, we'll just, yeah. As long as we're one tile below the bottom of the gray there, then we should be fine. We should be fine. Bonk. There. Hmm. Uh, oh no. I'll just take a screenshot, to be honest. Oh god, it keeps going. Oh no, it keeps going. Don't tell me I have to memorize this. Please. They're going to do that. Oh, no. Uh... Hmm... Well, let's hope I just sort of remember. Even though they try to... juke you and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Oh. Wait. Uh... Did it. I did it! First try. Alright. Oh, they're gonna do it again. Mmm. Right up, right. Oh god. 
Hmm, it depends on how much of a hint they leave behind, really. We'll see. Oh god, and it's dark, and there's true. Make sure you memorize that path. And there's... Oh no. I'm screwed. I want to see what the transfer is. I mean, I don't know if it... Would it get transferred? Or did it just get pushed? We'll see. I'll see what the, the creature is. And yeah, I have to go on the right side. This will be a pain. Because the latex monster is going to shove me into the water, I, I do believe. Since they don't really transfer, they just shove. I'm guessing, unlike change, you can only be transferred if you step in the puddings on the floor. But if it, they've already been solidified, then they don't transfer. Or maybe we could try killing it, maybe. Uh... God damn it. Yeah, that's gonna be more pain. I'll leave it here. Um, and give it more of a try again, as I said. Uh, like, the save is here. I don't know if it'll vanish if I close the browser. I'm hoping not. And if it does, then I'd just request the developer uh, make it so you can. It's a downloadable file, so you can play this in RPG Maker on your PC. And you can get a local save file just so it doesn't get removed because you can, I can't trust browsers and you know browsers resetting cookies or refreshing on their own or something like that. Uh, it's one of the main at least problems I'd say that I have with the uh, Five Nights at Kyle's is just having a secure local file for saves it makes more it, it, it's just you know you don't want to ah. burp it's just much easier to have, obviously, a save file you can trust actually exists on your computer somewhere and won't vanish. So, we'll see. I'm not sure. We'll see how it works and if closing the browser makes so my save vanishes. We'll find out. But I hope you enjoyed and maybe look forward to more. We'll see. I'll judge based on uh, how many people view and how many people uh, say they want to see more. But we'll find out. But I hope you enjoyed and if you did... Please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Arrgh.